What's up, party people? Another week, another update review. So with this week's update, uh, September 10th, 2019, we're looking at new pets all socketed. So let's go ahead and read this here. Hello, Decaronians. We focused on increasing stability of the game in today's maintenance by fixing bugs reported in a live server up to today. Also, we've received comments that they couldn't tell which pets are socketable, so they had to find out the pets they tried so hard to... Okay, this is just a mess. This seems to distract many players according to the feedback, so we've only collected the socketable pets in the box in the D-Shop. Please check out the details below. Ugh, very wordy. Um, I want to say uh, that this seems to distress many players according to the feedback, so in response, we've put a random box in the game that has socketed pets. If you were really responding to the player's feedback, you would make it so that pets could be socketed or at least create like some type of an exchanging game. So maybe you can exchange like the normal pet for a socketed pet or something along those the line or something along those lines. The response by adding a random pet thing in the D shop is not an inappropriate response in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, so there are two new pets. The two new pets are the Sarah and the Fallen Duex Marble. The Sarah has um, a damage decrease rate and uh, critical damage increase, which is or, or not critical damage, it's critical hit increase. I believe it's five percent and fifteen percent respectively. And then Fallen Duex Marble has five percent uh, monster da or uh, sorry PVP damage tolerance and five percent um, PVP damage. So both the pets are very good. Um, and in this random box, they, you know, they have a lot of the pet, uh, gems, and they also have a couple of the other pets. The Porsche, uh, I think that gives 9% monster damage tolerance. The Hera and the Joey, one gives 2k PvP attack, the other one gives, like, a percent. I, I don't remember exactly which is which. Corrupted Dragolich is, I believe, uh, PvP res and abnormal res, so that's really good, and I don't know what the Sarah is, but, uh, that's... That's that. Once again, eh, it's kind of just some pay-to-win junk in my opinion. The only thing, the only thing that is good about this is everything in here is tradable. So hopefully we could find people selling these in games and buy them without having to, you know, spend a bunch of money. Uh, but once again, that response of uh, we can't socket pets, so let's throw socketed pets into a random box. In my opinion, that's just greedy. That's not solving the problem in any way, shape, or form. So that's a little disappointing. Um, in addition to the pet update, there were some patches as well. They added a bunch of crests last week, and it turned out that uh, a bunch of them didn't actually go into your costume. So that's a pretty bad bug, but at least they got on that and fixed it right away. So that is good. And because they feel bad about the bug, they're going to compensate people who had it and couldn't put it in right away. So uh, good for that. Um... So there's that crest crest thing. That's nothing new. Uh, for the Snowflake Emblem 5, they changed it back to the Circulation Emblem Stage 50 instead of using Z-Coins, which in my opinion is really good because the Z-Coins are kind of hard to get. So, uh, and the Circulation Emblem Stage 50 is much easier to get. So that is a very good update. And then the last thing that they fixed is the blessed life beads were not working properly and now they are working so that's fantastic and minor text revisions which is great i have noticed especially as i've been working on these class showcases that uh there are a lot of text errors in games so hopefully they continue to fix those anyway um a small update just kind of a small patch here they probably just added this while we're waiting for the bigger pvp patch that's going to be coming out but as you know i'm not a huge fan of these pay to win updates and this one has it written all over it Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.